The Prince and Princess of Wales had a poignant task on Friday as they traveled to the Army Training Center Purbright, Surrey, to meet with service personnel ahead of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral on Monday. Prince William and Kate chatted to the soldiers this afternoon after traveling to the base where they had been carrying out rehearsals. Most will be in the front line for the emotional event as preparations step up with the eyes of the world watching. Princess of Wales wore an elegant and respectful black long coat by Catherine Walker, previously worn the Remembrance Sunday service in 2020. The garment is a fitted piece with a high mandarin collar, angled braided embellishment at the waist, epaulets, flared sleeves at the wrist, and silver buttons. She has had the coat altered in the past two years, by removing the military-style fringed epaulets. Catherine, Princess of Wales holding the Mulberry Small Amberley crossbody bag in black croc during today's engagement. The croc print black bag features a flap over front with tonal black ring hardware and Mulberry's geometric rider's lock closure. The suede-lined interior provides a touch of luxury. The bag is from Mulberry's Amberley collection, which is equestrian-inspired. The leather bag comes with a crossbody strap, which Kate removed. She often does this with her bags, opting to carry them in her hand instead. Kate first carried the small black bag on a visit to Trinity Boy Wharf, a center for arts and culture in East London, on 3 February 2022. The Princess of Wales carried this mulberry bag recently in Copenhagen February 2022. She carried the bag for a third time on 16 September 2022, during a visit to ATC Purbright. Catherine also seems to have the same bag model in white at Wimbledon July 2022. We can tell that the princess is a fan of these small top handled box bags. We've seen her carry 9 or 10 similar styles during public engagements to date. She clearly keeps abreast of new trends, micro and mini bags are having a moment in the world of fashion. Catherine swept her long brunette hair into a neat bun and donned a black fascinator as she arrived at the center in Surrey. Princess Kate also wore a lock and company. Abney hat worn at the Remembrance Sunday service in 2018 and a pair of pearl earrings. While Kate has worn the jewels several times over the years, she has made a special effort to wear the pieces on a number of occasions this week, including at Buckingham Palace to receive the Queen's coffin, and on Thursday, to meet mourners in Sandringham. The earrings are believed to be an elegant pair the Princess Kate has worn on a number of previous occasions, including the day she left hospital after the birth of Prince Louis. Kate also chose them for a day of engagements in the Netherlands in 2016, her first official solo overseas visit without Prince William. Princess of Wales also wore the jewels as she joined the royal family to receive the Queen's coffin at Buckingham Palace. It is believed they previously belonged to the Queen with Her Majesty wearing them to a number of events over the years. While Prince William wore a blue suit that had been adorned with his military medals. Prince William has seen put his hand on Kate's back as they spoke to troops in a rare touching moment between the couple. More than 1,000 Royal Navy sailors and Royal Marines will join the procession, bidding a final farewell to their beloved Commander-in-Chief. Friday's visit is Kate's second to the center in less than a year, after she wore a helmet and posed in an army tank in picture she posted on Armed Forces Day. Buckingham Palace has announced that two minutes of silence will be observed across the United Kingdom at the end of Queen Elizabeth II's state funeral. The funeral is to be held at Westminster Abbey on Monday, with some 2,000 guests attending, including visiting heads of state and other dignitaries. Officials said Thursday that after the funeral, the late Queen's coffin will be transported through the historic heart of London on a horse-drawn gun carriage. It will then be taken in a hearse to Windsor where the Queen will be interred alongside her late husband, Prince Philip, who died last year. Thank you for watching videos. If you like our videos, please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. Your support is a motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any requests for news, please comment below the videos for us. See you in the next videos.